Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here with Bish's RV, and I know a lot of my videos focus around new RVs, but I haven't forgot the folks out there in the used RV market. So if you are going to shop for a used RV, whether it's from a dealership or a private individual, here's a little thing that I don't think many people look for that over the years I definitely learned to check on, and it's the kind of thing that could potentially spell thousands of dollars of repairs if you don't catch it on the front side. Now, when we're looking at used RVs, we'll do things, uh, you know, sometimes like check the roof seals, you walk inside, you make sure there's no like damage, no holes in the wall or anything like that. But something that's missed a lot in my experience, did you check the bottom of the slide out? And what you wanna do here is actually get right up to it, get right down low. And first of all, just inspect for any kind of visual damage. Sometime if a slide is not adjusted, uh, it might actually grind on some things going in and out. And this uh, woven material under the slide could actually be torn up and you know cause problems now what i want to more specifically focus on though is right here along the edges this is the area that i see get missed most of the time get up here and thunk on it and squeeze it and see if it's solid and good like this or is it squishy and spongy and that's where you might have a problem so what's going on here well it's one of two things the first of uh, which, which to be fair is the most common, means there's been some kind of leak somewhere. Water goes down with gravity. It finds a point where it can't go down anymore like a floor and it tries to continue to hold onto that surface and it tends to wick into the slide floor a little bit. And usually uh, the end of the slide floor soaks up a little bit of that. That woven material is not a full on um, it's water resistant, it's not waterproof. And if enough water sits on it long term, it can cause a problem. Or if water is internal via a leak, uh, you know, it, it's bypassing that woven material together. And the woven material is actually helping hold that water in there a little bit, which can be a problem. The goal of any RV obviously is to keep water outside them. But that is not necessarily the only cause of this. The, the second cause is something where if you find out that the used RV you're looking at was left parked at a seasonal or destination site quite a bit you might want to really check on this because what happens here is when someone's parked like seasonally or something when they're using it uh, you know as like a, a summertime type place if it rains a lot in that area or if it's just been left open for years and years the rainwater will wash down the front side of that slide and start to wick its way into that subfloor uh, so you could have done the very best job possible taking care of your seals taking care like all the proactive uh, protections possible. Depending on how that slide side and slide floor are manufactured together from the factory, which is not something that you ever see listed in the brochure of a, of a you know, camper fly or something like that, it, it could allow more moisture to, like I said, settle into the side of the slide flooring right there. And especially the edges can start to become kind of soft over time. Now. Whenever you're in a situation like this where you hear some level of water has gotten into an RV, there's usually one or two mindsets. And I respect both of them because it's your money buying this, not mine. And again, I'm not selling you a camper today. I, uh, all I'm doing is trying to help you. And frankly, the information I'm giving you may not benefit the sale of an RV from my facility. This is about helping consumers today. Um, you're going to hear people either say, if there's water in it, run, don't walk, get away from it. Or you'll hear someone say, okay, for the right money, what can be done about it? Now, thankfully, there's nothing wrong with the slide we're looking at today, so I don't exactly have a visual representation of this for you, but it's a simple enough thing that if you describe it to somebody like a parts and service center or like a mobile repair tech, they're gonna know what you're talking about. Um, it's basically just called like a slide floor repair kit. It's a, a, effectively like an L-shaped piece of plastic. What it's going to do is just cover this side seam and then go in like six or eight inches depending on the variety that you're looking at so that water is no longer able to get into the side of the slide floor now some manufacturers actually build uh, their RVs with those little protective flanges straight from the factory level some do not so that might be another little thing that you're gonna look for um, if you're uh, you know even in the new RV market looking for something that's going to be outside in a seasonal situation but what that will do is arrest that um, decay of the material here but the thing is those things only go in a couple inches depending on how far gone how far in the RV that soft floor is you may be looking at a slide floor repair now keep in mind a slide floor repair typically means the slide is removed from the wall uh, the floor is dropped out a new floor put in its place and then the whole slide replaced in the RV 
Um, it's not a terribly hard thing to do. It's just very, very labor intensive. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the going labor rates for train technicians at RV facilities uh, are not getting any cheaper anytime sooner. So once again, the idea here is that prevention, uh, well, if I screwed up my own phrase, typical, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So I was gonna say, whatever. So once again, I hope you appreciate that we're, we're not selling you nothing today. Um, you can get the things I've described at any RV parts and service center. If you're handy, I'm sure you can get them off the internet and slap them on yourself. Our goal here is to just help you uh, be confident in your decision and make an educated purchase decision, whether it's from us, from somebody else, or from a private individual. Like I said, this is something I see uh, over the years I've seen come in on trade. And so many people are like, yep, my RV is absolutely fantastic. And one of the first things I do when I'm walking around the outside is I squeeze around the edges of those slide floors. And every now and then I'm like, yeah, but did you see that you got water damage over here? They're like, oh, I've never had a leak. I'm like, were you parked at a seasonal site? They say, how'd you know that? I'm like, <laughs> experience. Because folks, experience is nothing more than how many times you've been kicked around the block. And after doing this for over a dozen years, I've gained a lot of experience in this area and hopefully you can gain it uh, you know, on the front side instead of the hard way, as it were. Because the hard way is the expensive way. So if you appreciate tips like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, you know share something like this in your social media groups. I'd really appreciate it. I, I would love to get this message out there because frankly, it's, it's better for you, it's better for us, it's better for everybody if the used RVs that are out there don't have problems and, it, and then we all win, right? So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.